I spent the last three years learning how to get rich and how to create wealth in today's economy. And it led me to earning over half a million dollars in a single month. And in today's video, I actually want to tell you guys what were my learnings and figures that I had to study in order to come up with the path that allowed me to build a multiple seven figure a year business two years after quitting my nine to five where I was making just $2,000 a month. And the reason why this video is so important is because contrary to what most people are being taught to do, I didn't necessarily go that path. In my opinion, if I'm gonna start a business and hustle every night and day, I don't just wanna get by. I wanna be able to create so much wealth that capital and finance is never an issue for me. So I went onto this path and I started learning and studying a lot of some of the figures that are leading industries who are making a hundred times, a thousand times more money than people who are in the same industry as them. And it led me to building client acquisition that I owe to what it is today, a multiple six figure a month business. And here are the figures that I had to study in order to understand how to play the game that I play. First person that I studied was Alex Hormozzi, okay? So Alex Hormozzi goes from learning how to build gyms and being a gym owner. Then he went from being a skilled person at building gyms and at doing legion and closing deals for his gyms and getting members to switching from this thing here of running the model to licensing every single scale that he had acquired to other gyms and cool that got him to being able to make a hundred grand a month up to many seven figures a month so that was great he generated multiple seven figures every single month which is great which is impressive but that's still not necessarily like an anomaly. What is an anomaly is the fact that he went from building a multiple eight figure company to in, in less than three years, building a portfolio of companies that are generating over $200 million, which is just around 20 million a month. And the thing that I want you guys to understand is that even though he was pretty great at this first layer of leverage, which was he was pretty great at building offers, he was pretty great at client acquisition, he was pretty great at fulfillment and retention, but turned him into a beast is the fact that he understood that like, oh my God, if I just stay on just being a scaled person, a great business owner, that is not enough in today's economy. I need to pull a different lever. And that lever was an audience. An audience and a product with zero marginal cost of replication. Which means that he went from doing the thing to now building an audience from sharing the skills that he acquired along his journey and he built an audience of millions and millions of people following him, consuming his content. And that alone behaved like a magnifier from the skills that he already had. So it's what I want you guys to understand is that leverage is just like a multiplier. It's, it just magnifies what you're already good at, okay? It's not enough for you to just learn how to appointment set. It's not enough for you to just learn offers. You need another lever that will magnify the skills that you already have. And the best lever is attention. The fact that Hormozzi acquired the attention that he has today makes him a thousand times more valuable than the Hormozzi who just stuck in this game of just being a good at business and scaling businesses, right? And that's the first person I studied. I understood that like, okay, even though this is important, having a lot of attention is way more important than even the first layer. Okay, of skills that he acquired building gym launch and helping other gyms. Now, the second person that I learned that I studied was Iman. Iman Gadzi started creating content early on. I think he was super young and he went the agency route and he built an e-commerce agency, advertising agency to 100K per month. But okay, so what? That's great. He was a great marketer and he still is. But what made him into a figure that is almost like every every young man out there, even young women follow him like he's the savior. And he kind of technically he is in a way, right? But what turned him into that godlike figure is the attention that he now has. It's not necessarily because he's a great marketer. It's not because he was the greatest person at scaling an e-commerce agency. Because there are a lot of people who've built e-commerce agencies that are way bigger than what Iman ever had. But do you know why Iman is still gonna make multiple eight figures every single year, like clockwork, when most agencies will never do? Because he has three million subscribers on YouTube. Again, there is this theme where People have okay skills, they're great marketers, they can make money, but the thing that turns them into multiple eight figures, multiple nine figure earners, maybe even billionaires, is the lever of attention. And that's why you'll see them spending a lot of time, a lot of everything, so that the image, the branding, the videos that he creates are like movies, right? Because that's the one thing that if he does well, 
will magnify every single thing else that he does on every single skill that he has acquired before. That's the second person I studied. Then the next person I studied was The Rock. I looked at The Rock before he was who he is today. The Rock was a great actor, a great wrestler. And in two decades, he built up a net worth of 300 million, which is great. 20 years of work, build a 300 million net worth, good job, right? Making a few, maybe eight figures a year. I don't know how much he was making every year. I didn't look that deep. But what I want you guys to understand is what happened next. He builds followers, I think he has over 100 million on Instagram. He builds 100 million subscribers, right? Followers. And then he accesses more attention. And then he decides to build what? a product with almost like zero margin of cost of replication, but not to him, like he doesn't have to, to do more work. He builds a tequila brand. That tequila brand in less than three years became a billion dollar company. I think it's worth almost four billion or around four billion. And that in three years took The Rock from being worth 300 million net worth to being worth over a billion dollars. The Rock became a billionaire in less than three years or three years or so from leveraging his audience and building a, a new product that is scalable. So he went from being a, a hustler, a great actor, great movie actor, great wrestler, spent 20 years to get rich. Then he does, acquires more attention and builds a product that is more scalable, becomes a billionaire. That's the thing we need to study. Let's not study how to be a hustler. That's not how you will create the wealth that you desire. That's not how you create freedom because you're still a hustler, you're still a worker in the business. What you need to become is someone who has so much attention that anything you touch turns to gold. The thing you touch into gold is attention. It's where you lead that attention. Anything I lead attention to, I make 100 grand. If I wanna make 100 grand this next week, I'll just lead the attention of my audience to the thing I have to sell. I'll give value in exchange I'll monetize a little bit from the goodwill I've created. And then the next person I studied was Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor spent, I don't know how long he spent in the UFC fighting, but I learned that in his career of UFC, all the fights he did, he only earned $25 million, guys. 25 mil. Getting knocked out, getting hit every day only earned him 25 mil. And here's the thing that happened. He goes from fighting, becoming a fighter and creating a great character online, a you know, charismatic person. He goes from this to he built a $600 million brand. So he used his attention from the following he has, build a product that is scalable and then built a $600 million, I think it was, it was also a drink, right? It was like liquor or something like that. And that happened in less than like three, four years. Spends almost a decade fighting or more, I don't know, to only make 25 mil. And then in less than three, four years, builds a brand that is worth 600 million and sells his shares and makes a hundred million dollars from it. And what's even greater is that in the fight that he had with Floyd Mayweather, they paid him $30 million. One single fight earned him more money because of what? Because of the attention, because of the magnifier that he had, which is the attention that he owned. A fight is worth more. One fight with the attention that he had made him more money than he ever made from his whole career of getting beat down and getting and beating up the other people. That's what I'm telling you guys, that the way you create wealth and get rich for sure in today's economy is not becoming a fighter. It's not becoming a great actor. It's not becoming a great agency owner. It's not becoming a great person who scales gyms. Those people already exist. I would rather you spend your time creating content, educating the masses, and then go find the best person at scaling gyms, then partner with them, and then build a multiple seven figure, multiple eight figure business. Then you trying to hustle your way into understanding how to do legion, how to build offers for gyms, how to do paid ads for gyms, how to close for gyms. Like that's not enough leverage. That's enough leverage to get rich, for sure. Like Hormozzi got rich, for sure, from helping gym launch, from scaling gyms. But wouldn't you rather just skip, preferably, this part and just build the audience? Because that's way more important than any other thing that he acquired before, okay? And we have a lot of different case studies. You know, you have Logan Paul with KSI. They use their following to build a, I think they're generating over 200 million with their prime drink. I think it's gonna be worth almost a billion. I think or it's probably already worth a billion. These are YouTubers. They're making more money than any of these smart guys who knows how to do AI, all this tech shit, because they have the biggest lever, which is attention. Look at Kim Kardashian. She goes from selling things on eBay to acquiring an audience to building skims. Skims went from zero to being worth, I think, over $4 billion 
in three years. She created it in 2019. The brand is worth four point something billion. And just to give you context, Kim Kardashian and her Skims brand generated $700 billion in annual revenue three years after being created. Just to give you guys context, Lululemon, it took them 13 years to achieve that same amount of growth or to achieve the same revenue. That's what I mean by leverage. The biggest way, the easiest path to scaling is by pulling the biggest lever, which is owning attention. And guys, I'm telling you guys this, I'm, I also was in the same position. I started an agency, an appointment setting agency, scaled it to 30K per month in 2021. But I was hustling all day, every day, working hard. And I didn't know how I was gonna scale it. And I started going on YouTube and sharing every appointment setting process and case study and everything that we were doing for our clients. And I went from 30K a month to 100K a month 90 days later. Then I went from 100K a month to 600K a month, like 10, 12 months later. So like the growth was just ridiculous, but that only came from me building and focusing and understanding what is the biggest lever that I had to pull in order to scale in today's day and age, okay? So I don't wanna make this video too long, but guys, if you could learn from me, then I think this is super important, but I wanna be the person who actually gives you guys the right thing that's working today. I don't wanna sell you guys information. I don't wanna sell you guys anything. I just want you guys to understand what needs to be done, and then we partner together and then we build some of the largest companies in the client acquisition space. So I hope you guys found this beneficial. If you wanna learn more about this, check out the Natural Born Leader community. I dropped 12 hours of content mapping out the every single step that I would take in order to build a seven figure, multiple seven figure client acquisition business. So yeah, if you're curious, just click the link below and learn more. But I hope you guys found this video helpful. That's how you, we get rich in today's day and age, okay? Bye-bye.